In Pescadero, California, there is a very famous beach called the Pebble Beach. It's a place where the waves, the white surf, would constantly, endlessly roll to the shore. And there it would collect, as it were, picking up the stones that are on the seashore and it would wrap them, as it were, in its arms and the waves will, will mingle those stones and rub them together and churn them and through all that motion and action the stones would be polished by each other and as that happened ceaselessly and the waves would, would throw those stones against the side of the cliff and then wash them back and just roll them and chafe them and polish them again and again and then, as it were, throw them back onto that beach, onto the ocean side. What resulted was, that where the stones at first were rough and the edges were sharp, they were now nicely rounded and very beautiful, very attractive. And that's why many, many people from all around the world would visit Pebble Beach. And they would pick up these beautiful rounded stones that have gone through such a process, a rough process, in order for them to be so well rounded, polished. And these stones would become ornaments on the mental pieces in homes. Some of them will be in showcases and people would express amazement at the beauty of those stones, not realizing what they went through to get to that place. Now, what's interesting is that if you just went around those cliffs, around that same beach, there is a very peaceful, very calm cove where the ocean also comes in, the waves would, would wave in, would uh, flow in, and there would also be rocks on the seashore, but that area is protected from storm. It's sheltered, and so it's a very peaceful place. And of course, that means that those stones never get disturbed. They are left at pe in peace. They are left in the calm, in the quiet. They have, as it were, the easy life. And they never become attractive. No one goes there to pick them up. No one wants them. They don't have any beauty. They haven't gone through the polishing process. Now, isn't that a little bit the way it is with the Christian life? The Bible says, that God in Isaiah, the prophet says that God has made me into a polished arrow. A polished arrow. That means there's a process that we go through. And that process means that we are ground and shaped and the rough edges are smoothed away through the trials, the tribulations, the hardships of life until what we have is a polished child of God cannot get there without those hardships, without the storms, without the waves churning us around and us rubbing ourselves against others around us which changes and shapes and molds us into something that God will consider beautiful. You see, friend, God has a work for you to do. He has a work for me to do. And for us to be able to be part of His work, He needs to take us through this polishing process. Are you willing for him to polish you? Maybe what you are going through right now is so difficult for you to accept and understand, but might it be the polishing process that in the end will yield a product that is beautiful, that is well worth the trouble that you've gone through. My name is Ivan Blake. I am senior pastor of the Fletcher Seventh-day Adventist Church and our purpose is to lift Jesus up and love people in. If you want to check us out, go to our website www.fletchersda.org and remember, what you're going through today will heal a polished, beautiful product in God's hands.